In you, my Lord, I have taken refuge. For that, never let me be put to shame. With your saving justness, pull me out of this and deliver me. Bend your ear to me and save me. Be to me as a fortified dwelling to continuously come to the one you have appointed for my deliverance. For you are my protective cliff and you are my mountain stronghold. My God, deliver me from the hand of the wicked, from the power of those acting unjustly and oppressively. For you are my hope, O Lord. My Lord, the object of my confidence from my youth. From my birth I have braced myself upon you. From my mother's womb you pulled me out and cut me loose. My songs of praise are continuously about you. I have been a sign and a wonder to many since you are my fortified refuge. My mouth is filled with praise of you. All day long, it is filled with your honor and glory. Do not cast me off in this time of old age. Do not leave me behind as my strength and abilities fade. For my enemies have spoken against me, and those seeking my life have taken counsel together, saying, God has left him behind. Pursue and seize him, for there is none now to save him. Sovereign God, do not be distant from me. My God, hurry to my aid. Let them be ashamed. Let them fade, those who are the adversaries of my soul. Let those seeking my misfortune cover themselves with shame and disgrace. But as for me, I will continually wait for you, and I will add to all your songs of praise. My mouth will proclaim your loyal justness. All day long, it will make known your help and deliverance, even though I do not know how to write in a manner which can fully praise them. I will come because of the miraculous deeds of the Lord, my Lord. Sovereign God, you have taught me from my youth, and even now 
I still proclaim your miraculous deeds. And even now, as I am aging, becoming old and gray, Sovereign God, do not leave me behind while I declare your strength to a future generation, while I praise your might to all who are to come. And your justness, sovereign God, reaches up to the heights of heaven. And as to the great things which you have done, sovereign God, who is like you? You, who has caused me to experience afflictions, both ample and sinister, you will reverse these actions again and will restore life to me. You will return to me again and will pull me up from the abyss of the earth. You will increase my greatness. Oh, that is, you will turn again towards me. You will comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you with the instrument of music, with the harp, for your faithfulness, my God. I will play songs about you with the lyre. Holy One of Israel, my lips will sound a ringing cry of joyous exultation. Yes, I will sing to you with my lips and my life, which you have redeemed. Also, all the day long, my tongue will proclaim your loyal justness for they have been put to shame. Indeed, they have been shamed. Those who have been striving to bring me harm. <laughs> 